Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Sales Mastery. We have, uh, what do we end up with? About 22 people in here that were here for the social media class last week. And it's not really Sales Mastery, it's um, Prospecting Mastery, right? So uh, last week, you guys actually had to do stuff. You had to post in the room. You had to do stories. You had to do all that. And I asked um, how many of you guys actually had any responses or anybody that wanted to buy or sell. We didn't get anybody last week yet. But remember, we're just trying to stay in front of everybody. That's all we're trying to do. Remember me, remember me, remember me. And has anyone else consistently posted since then and didn't do it before? Consistently and didn't do it before. So we have seven or eight people. And I know, Katie, you hate doing it, right? I do. You hate it. I've okay. I've been doing it. It's killing me. And are people responding to you? Okay, so right now you hate doing it, right? As you do more stories and as you do more posts, the next thing you know, you're going to be looking at every single person that watched your story like a psycho. You can't help it. It's just going to happen the more you post, and then you're going to see like, and that, that's when you can see which people are watching you that you didn't really know were watching you, past clients, past people that you know, um, and all of a sudden you can start tracking like this person is actually engaged with what I'm doing, which is what we want, where we want to get to. So today is going to be um, a little bit different, and I know you guys all have your phones out, and for those of you guys are, that are at home, um, I'll give you guys a little bit of a backdrop of what we're doing. But the first thing is uh, just having a texting plan. And, and what I mean is, I'm going to go back here. So what most people do in the real estate business, and this is why people fail, is there's passive methods and passive approaches, and there's active approaches. And the passive approaches are the things that we do that just try to get in front of anybody. So if you're doing an advertisement, in the, in, uh, which some people are still doing, in your local um, HOA newsletter, if you're doing it in the Canyon Lake Friday Flyer, if you are making a post, if you are um, putting out a sign, if you're doing anything like that, those are all passive things that you're waiting for somebody to call you, right? And that's the big difference. Waiting for somebody to call you is great when you have a past and a system set up that uh, enough people know you and have dealt with you that they're going to continue to follow up with you. But a lot of you guys are newer in here, so you don't have that big database of people that are going to be hitting you up and calling you and doing a lot, so you have to go get them. So today is about being active and starting to aggressively fish um, for people and like putting the hooks out and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I know a lot of people, what people hate, the majority of people that get into real estate business is asking for business, right? People don't like saying, you know, you don't want to look like the Amway salesperson, you don't want to do that. But let me tell you, that's the difference between somebody that kicks ass and makes it and somebody that doesn't. So I want to just teach you guys today the action calendar that we have that we go over every month is about being active. Everything we're doing is about being active and putting out those hooks. So that being the case, this is WhatsApp. So everybody at home hopefully has already downloaded this. How many people in here have never used WhatsApp but downloaded it? Yeah. You mean uh, hit them up? Hit them up? Get rid of that. <laughs> Why did I do that again? A WhatsApp, my kids in the Marines, it's the only way I can... Um, communicate with him. So that's actually why it's just so stuck in my head. So anyways, but yes, it's hit him up. Sorry, hit him up, hit him up, hit him up. You guys at home, hit him up. All right, hit him up. So that being the case, I want you guys to, how many people have used your um, hit him up before? How many people have never used it? Okay, we got, okay. Can you get that audience? How many people have never used it? Keep your hands up. All right, you guys are in for a treat. You are going to love this today. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to pull out your, um, your hit him up. I want you to Open it up right now. And do any of you guys have a group of people in your hit em up yet? OK, so how many people do you have in your database, Gabby? In my entire database? Yeah, in your database, in your hit em up, oh, in, the, uh, in your group. I have three different groups of over 100. OK, three different groups. How many do you have, Corey? I have 33 and another one of seven. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to go in right now, and you, I want you to create a group. OK, so go in right now and create a group. And Michael, they, we may need to get a little bit of help with this one, but I think we'll be OK. So go in there and create a group, and all I'm asking you to do right now is to select five people, okay, and I'm not, I mean, you can, I don't want you to, don't select your mom, you know, don't select your brother, I want you to pick five people that you guys know in some form of a professional capacity, or even if it's not a professional capacity, somebody that you know that was a parent that you dealt with on your kid's team, somebody that, um, you know, your, your hairdresser, um, your... Um, Barber, uh, any, anyone at all that you can think of, and I want you to create a group, and I want you to name it um, just A plus, just name it your A plus, A plus database, okay, just A plus database, your A plus database. So now we've downloaded, hit them up, we've created an A plus database, and now we're going to put five people in there, and I don't care if it goes silent here, I want you to have five people. Um, 
and are you guys, if you have questions and you can't do it, you have to edit the list and go back and add people. But you can just scroll through anybody you want and just put check marks by the people that you want. And uh, can I walk up to the camera and show this on the camera, Adam? Yeah. All right. So yeah. this right here, y'all. Hold on. Uh, Michael, can you pull focus for him? Yeah. yeah sorry. That's I right. can yeah. probably go closer. Just, just for a no, second. No, no. We'll, we'll fix you. Okay. So that's, that's the app, right? Everybody sees that when I hit the app, it goes directly in. And inside of here, I have all my groups. So I have the business planning prospecting group. This prospecting mastery class right here, this is everybody that's in this room. Okay, so when I click on that, here is all the people that are in this room right now. So I can choose whatever group that I want um, to be in it. And then I also have um, the mastermind group, everybody that's in the mastermind making over 100 grand, so these are our top 65. The silver club, everybody that's making over 50 grand, so here's 46 of them. I have um, just everybody that I need to keep in contact with right here in this group. And if you want to create a new group, you click that. Okay, so now in my prospecting mastery, for example, if I click on that, let's say I wanted to add somebody. I'm going to edit my list. I'm going to search my contacts. Let's say I wanted to add Chuck Whitehead. And then there is Chuck Whitehead. So I just clicked on them, and I hit Save. And now Chuck's in my group. So it's that simple. So now I've got this group, which is who I'm going to be communicating with. Does everybody have five guys? It's okay. it's okay. Hey, you know what? If you need an extra minute or if you're not figuring it out, let me know right now and let's take a look at it. Because you got Michael here, you got me here. You got yours all set up, Norma? Okay. You got a question, Kelly? What's that? A plus database. Just five people like that you know in a professional capacity, a past client, okay. um, somebody that, even, even somebody that you, know, you talk to regularly but never talk to about business. Okay. Anybody you want that, because remember, the, the, the cool part about this business is you're drinking buddies, you know, that you never even talked about business. You're allowed to ask them what we're going to ask them right now. How, how you doing, Corey? You good? Yeah. Anshul, you good? Yes. Con? Good? Did you get a set up? Can you help Con, Michael? Yeah. Anybody? Everybody good over here? Yeah. I go here and okay. I, I hit Oh, new. is this an iPhone? Yeah, okay, good. Oh. So, um, let's... No, this is an Android. Oh, boy. So it's different. It's different. Androids. Okay, so go, can you go ahead and load it up real quick? Okay, so let's go ahead and close it. And create it. You open it up again. And it opens right up to that. Okay, so you create a new. new. And then, um, see, I don't know where to go to put them in a group. I know I've said people do it. Okay, I'll figure it out. New, new, new mass text, so new. Um, mass text, that's why I didn't know how to get them in a group. Boom. I don't even want to know. I knew I could figure it out. I know, but it's going it to be. It's gonna be like, it's just, I wonder if you shrink down the, the size of your font. I think there's not seeing things. Like, I don't know if you can shrink it down a little bit. It's not showing your full screen because your font is so big. Brad, you good? I'm close. Okay, good. Are you good? Did you get it? So let me see your five. Your mom, your dad, your uncle. Wait. Okay, Chuck. So, so let's talk about... Okay, you, you know she knows this person. So she has Brad Johnson, Brian fucking Lerner, that's what it says, <laughs> Crystal, Dan, and Dennis. So good job. All right. <coughs> Brian, Folks, better give you something. That's a friend. If you have questions at home, feel free to put them in the yeah, chat. Yeah, please, please feel free. So hopefully you have downloaded the Hit em Up. You have created the group. If you are on an Android, I am sorry. I, it can be done. But it, do, when you shrunk the font down, Elizabeth, did it help? It helped a little bit, but... Do you know how to do it on an Android, Michael? No, I think, I think they have like the bigger font size. Yeah, they got to shrink the font down so we can see it. Okay, so Con, did you get yours set up now? You got five people. Kim Graham? She's able to do it. Oh, you got an Android too? Okay, so slow. she figured it out, Elizabeth, so. And it's okay that you guys have Androids. We're not judging you. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right. Dan, we good, man? Dan, you solid? Good, good. And you got it too? Leah? Okay. All right, great. So I'm going to give you guys like another 30 seconds. Did you get yours? I have 10. Okay, good. 10 is good. 10 is good. 
And this is going to be a little bit difficult because we're going to have to, this is going to get a little squirrely the way, we're, way I want to do it, but you'll see, unfortunately. All right, and now I want you guys all to, um, well, just let me know. Just raise your hand if you're not done yet. All right, so those three people, the androids, right? <laughs> You good, Dylan? Yeah. All right, guys. So um, the rest of you guys can keep rolling. But so, so here's the thing. Here, here's what I believe. Were you able to figure it out? Yeah. I think they have existing groups, and it's pulling from their existing groups. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So the, my favorite part about texting programs is that I believe, and I, I think you guys would agree, if you had nothing else, nothing else at all, do you think you could run your entire business off of your phone? You could run your entire business off your phone. Computers are just to make us look busy when we sit down at them, right? Because we're really screwing around every time you're on a computer nowadays, in general, unless you write an offer. So, so texting is free, and I believe that in our minds, we have to start creating a texting program throughout the year to reach out to everyone. Because, again, you can run your entire business off it, um, and people read texts. How many times have you called people and don't answer? You'll respond to a text, some of you guys, but you won't answer your phone. Do you agree? Like, what is she calling me for? Text me. That's pretty much how it works, right? So that being the case, I believe that, and that's what the, the annual calendars are about, sending everybody out. You know, like if you, now that you've got hit em up set up, if you, and we're going to continue to go today because I want you guys to get up to like 50 to 100 people in your hit em up database. Uh, and then when on um, New Year's Eve, for example, you can text everybody at once within 15 minutes and still customize them which is what we're going to talk about. It looks like it's going out to everybody and it's just one big thing. It's not. It's still going to open up one text at a time so that you can customize them, which is what we're going to talk about. So that being the case, um, there's really no excuses to not be actively using your texting. Um, I want to start out with buyers or sellers, and, and here's where I want to go. So how many people in here are working with a buyer or seller right now actively? Okay. How many people are not? Okay, so those are the newer people. So we've got four. So I want you to start out right now. Um, let's all do a listing to start with. So we'll start out with a listing. Um, and we're going to use this to drum up some business right now. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, here is a script if you just wanted to send one out to people on a personal note. Like if I just wanted to check in and say hi to somebody, I would send something like this. And I don't want you to type this in. But you know, hi, Jen. Happy Wednesday. For some reason, you guys popped in my head and I had to say hi. Hope life is good for you and the family, Chuck. This is a very simple text that you can send out just to keep in touch, just to say hi, and I'm not asking for business at all. You guys know what I mean? So I want you to always remember that we have to send out personal texts, usually at least one to one or two for everyone, all the time. And that's why I love holidays. You know, Fourth of July, um, I always send a text to the mastermind on, uh, or the chairman's club on Thanksgiving, which is like 65 people. Um, just to let them know, hey, thanks for being here, stuff like that. And same with you guys. Hey, thanks for being, um, you know, th thanks for considering me for real estate. Thanks for always being so great to me. Thanks for being cool. New Year's Eve, hey, something big's going to happen for you this year, I hope. I was just thinking about you guys. Just want to say Happy New Year. You can use every holiday as an excuse to reach out to people all the time. Holidays are the best excuse. And remember, when you guys go on Facebook, um, and I've said this a million times, but when you guys go on Facebook, you guys get notifications of people's birthdays that are going on inside of your, and it's like, yeah, there are six birthdays today. Look at them and see if any of them could potentially be clients. And as, as they pop up, you have to choose, like some of them are like friend from high school that you haven't seen in 20 years, you know, who lives in Wisconsin. You may not want to send that person a text. But if it's somebody that lives in Marietta, somebody that lives in Temecula, you haven't seen them maybe in the last year, never wish someone a happy birthday, birthday on Facebook. We always text them. Always, always, always. So we have to get in the habit of constantly texting, and that's how we're going to be fishing. So this is just an excuse of how to keep in contact with people on a personal level. But today, we're not about that. Uh, today, I want you guys to all open up um, CB Buzz. OK, go, go into CB Buzz right now. And I want you to, um, up in the search bar of CB Buzz, I want you to type in Jennifer Moore. Jennifer Moore. Right up here in the search, Jennifer Moore in CB Buzz. That's, that's J E N N Y. Yes, J E N N Y P H E R. Jennifer Moore. Okay, and and did this listing pop up for you guys? Did it come up in CB Buzz? And can you see this now? Okay, now when you click on it, when you click on the photos, I want you to select three photos, and I want you to save them to your camera roll right now of of this particular property. This is the one I want you guys to find. 
Okay, 33590 Marigold Lane in Marietta. For those who are just tuning in right now, by the way, we are uh, using the Hit Hit 'em Up app. Yes. So that, go to the App Store and download Hit M Up. E M Up. What's that? You're going to save the picture in your camera roll. Everybody knows how to save the picture in your camera roll, right? Don't snapshot it. We want to keep it clean and clear. So you're going to hit the little up arrow button that saves it into your photos. Does everybody have it? Okay, cool. Now, if you have an active listing right now, if you guys have an active listing and you want to use your listing for what we're about to do, you can. So if you have something active you want to use, you can. But I want you to know that, and this is something, one of the benefits of being a Coldwell Banker, you guys can advertise anyone's property at any time without their permission. It's going to be nothing but a benefit to the seller. And the, the listing actually belongs to the brokerage. It is Margaret McCoy's listing. That's how it works when you're under a broker. So we have a deal in this company. Anybody can advertise anybody's anything at any time. Um, the thing that we don't ask you to do is we're not going to say, I have a listing on. We're going to say, we have a listing. So that's the only thing that's important is because we, the team, the family, the Colder Banker family, we have a listing. So that way, it's very easy for you guys to advertise anybody's stuff you want at any time you want. So. I always recommend finding a company property. The reason that I chose this one um, is because the photos just went in yesterday and I believe it just went live or it's just about to go live. We try to hit the newest ones because if you pick one that's three weeks old, they can pull it up and say the days on market's like 40, why, why are you calling me on this one that's been on the market for 40 days or texting me on that one? So any questions, did, ev did everybody choose three photos from here that they're happy with? Yeah, okay. So um, now what I want you to do is there are two different ways. And when I was asking you guys if you're working with buyers or if you're working with sellers, if you are working with buyers and you're really struggling right now on finding them a property, um, this is one way that we can approach it. Um, and if you're looking for sellers, this is another way that you can approach it. But again, this what we're about to do is about finding buyers and finding sellers. So this is an example. This is Jennifer Moore's property. Hi, Chris. So, so I'm going to show you how to do this. But hi, Chris. Uh, we listed a great new four bedroom, 28, 2585 square foot in Marietta. It's priced well. It's going to go fast. Let me know if you have any friends who may be interested. Tell Pat I said hi. So this particular one is the type of text that I want to send out right now based on the property that you guys just downloaded the pics from. So that's searching for buyers, right? And then on the other side, hi, Pete. We have a buyer looking for anything around 500000 Let me know if you have any friends in Menifee who are looking to sell. Say hi to Sarah Chuck. So both of these are fishing for buyers or fishing for sellers. So by doing this and by sending out this text to a number of people, now right now I'm only asking you guys to send out five. But in the future, I want you to send out 100, right? And then I want you to batten down the hatches. Because when you do this, you guys are not going to believe how many people are going to respond to you. So these are the two that, that we're going to start with. So what I'd like you guys to do now is I would like you to, um, to just go ahead and go into your Hit 'em Up app, go into your group and start writing the message. Does everyone know how the first name works? So, and I, I'm gonna tell you, so, so here's what I want you to do. So, is everyone hit create message yet? Okay, don't start typing it in yet, but just hit create message in, in your group. Did you got it? Good. So is everybody in now? Okay, so here's what I want you to put. Hi, capital H-I, space, first name down at the bottom. You guys see first name? Okay comma, and go ahead and write this exact quote. And you can, you, like, and I know, uh, Gabby, like, whatever, however you would say it is cool. So feel free to tweak it, but don't overthink it, because remember, my message, crappy message, is better than your absent message every time. So don't get caught up in verbiage, don't get caught up in pictures, don't get caught up in the perfect video, just write it. So we just listed a great four bedroom, 2855 square foot home in Marietta. It's priced well, it will go fast. And don't press send yet. And don't put the tell Pat I said hi part. Any friends, if you have any friends who may be interested, I want you to end it here. Okay, so right there. Interested. And let me know when you got it all typed in. Last time you didn't have your phone, huh? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, that's my anniversary. I remember that. I remember that. You got it today. <laughs> and you know, like, do you still have that golf course listing, Brad? Mm -hmm. That didn't pop yet? No, 
that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and then and then if you chose like 10 Canyon Lakers, that would work solid too. Everybody got it? Okay, now I want you to I want you to minimize it. So minimize that screen for now and go back into your photos. And when you're back in your photos, I want you to choose the photo that you like best from Jennifer's listing. This one. Yep. And all I want you to do is copy it. I'm sorry, but no self at say that. Nope. Because, and I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell you why in a minute, because we're going to, we're going to tweak that a little bit for everybody. Okay. Does everybody got it? If you have it, you can go ahead and go back to your email. And I hate to do this, but may I take a look at, I want to make sure you got your first name right and all that sort of stuff. Okay. You can connect it too. Like if you wanted to back, oh, like yeah, it. It, like just connect it so that it looks like a text and doesn't look like a letter. Yeah. Okay, can I see yours? Can I see yours? Okay, good. Anshul? Okay. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Good. Good, good. Okay, like I was saying, like I would probably, I would probably connect that. So just back that, that, that way it looks more like a text. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, yeah, just, just, you don't want to make it look like a letter. Right. Looks good. Oh, wait. Oh, you didn't get the first name in there. So, so next, next to the comma, or ne in between the comma and the I, hit a, okay, hit a space in between the, yeah, there you go, space, and now hit first name, and then comma. Hold comma? Mm-hmm. And then space, and then capitalize that W. How do you add to the library? To? Add to the library. Is this, is this uh, your iPhone? Yeah. May I? Yeah. You you just trying to get back to so, okay so so go back to your photos now, go ahead, okay. and then okay there it is is that what you're looking for? No, I want, I want pictures of the house. Um, oh, wasn't it? It should be in order right there. We're done at the bottom, wasn't it? Oh, oh, of yours, yeah. yours, um, and then you could probably yeah. Once you open it, just 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 copy it though. Sorry, man, I thought it was the most recent one. Let me see yours. Let me see yours. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, you forgot the first name. So next to, so here, here's, watch, watch what I do, okay? So hi, um, right there, right? I'm gonna hit space, and then I'm gonna hit first name. So now, what that's gonna do is it's going to, um, it's gonna pull the first name out of your hit em up group. So it's automatically gonna go in and grab those five people that you selected, and it's gonna say like, hi Chuck, hi Bill, hi Chris. So it's gonna auto-populate and fill that up with that person's name. May I see yours? How's, how's yours? So I, I, I just, I know that I got them safe. So now, oh, now yeah. Go to. Okay, well, you're sending um, all the pictures of the property. If Hopefully you guys are, don't take a screenshot of the Facebook. Did you click and actually choose one of the photos out of the Facebook post? Okay. Three photos, yeah. You, just, yeah, just three. I, I wanted you to choose the ones that you like. So I, so yep. go ahead and go back to the post, open it up, and just choose one photo because you, you snapshotted the whole screen of all of them. What do you got? Let me, I got yours. Okay, so I saved the photo. Okay. I'm not sure where I go. Copy photo. Okay, okay now just go back to your, um, your app. Let me see. Okay, good. I've got the photo. I Again, just, okay, yeah, just hang on to the photo for now. Okay. okay. For those just tuning in, we are using the Hit M Up oh, app. Uh, where hit is e -M their first up. name? Go to the App Store and download Hit um, Em Up. What, where, where's your, your, your... This is for Because I don't see that. Texting what, where's your, your database. Your, your, your text message. It's only a piece of it. it. Yeah. Darn it, I lost it. I just... Well, it was only half, so it should still be there. It should, so if you go back to that group, it should still open. Um, okay, so, so is everybody good? Okay, so here's what I want you to do now. Um, I want you to hit send. Okay, I, I want you to hit send. It's going to pop up, and it's going to show you a preview first. So um, you've got to put in your phone number. You've got to enter your phone number. Um, okay, so go ahead. You've got to put in your phone number. Okay. I should have had you guys register for this. It's going to ask you for your cell phone number. My favorite part about Hit'em Up is, and again, is something that you guys, like, it's important for you to know. Hit'em Up allows all your messages to come from your cell phone. If you use Elevated Network, if you use anybody else, it's some random-ass number, and they know it's not from you. 
Like when you get messages from some of the people at Point Mortgage or sometimes like when you guys get the message from me reminding you of meetings that's not from my cell, you don't want that. Hit them up comes from your cell phone number. So it's personal to them. I didn't get the six code thing. What is that? I didn't get the six code. Six code, yeah. Okay, you, and go to your, your text. Should be in your text. Is it working for everybody? Anyone having any problems? Okay, so go to your text messages. And it should be right there at the top. Oh, weird. Hmm. Is that the right number? Yeah. Oh, you have a, a one in front of it, 1951. That should still work, huh? Resend code, go ahead. That one might be killing it. Maybe not, though, huh? Let's see what happens. How's everybody doing? Good. We're making progress. I didn't get any verification code thing. Yeah. It's teamable, I guess. It is. Said coders was sent to that number. Is that your number? Yeah. You, you read it, right? For sure that was your number? Yes. No. I didn't get anything. Okay. It's coming in one second. Okay, go ahead. And... like three times. Yeah, that's my number. Okay, wait. So 714? 714. Hmm. You guys got it. Probably you're fine, huh? Okay, so hopefully everybody's got the hit em up downloaded. You've created your message. I know for you guys that have just downloaded it, you're having issues because you got to put in your phone number and it's asking you for these weird codes and stuff, but hopefully you get them. Did you get it yet, Leah? Yeah. Okay, good. It came. It, it came through. Hers just came through. Ancho, hers just came through. So, um, Everybody else have it? Did you get yours, Kim? Con? Favillo? Okay, good. All right. So now everybody should have that message open. It should have a preview for you to look at of what it's going to look like. Is that correct? Now I want you all to hit send. What about the photos? Though? I'm going to show you. Oh. Yep, just hit send right now and then nothing else. Just, by the way, don't get ahead of me. Like just hit send and then, and, and the only reason I said that, I don't want you to make a mistake on sending the wrong thing. So everybody hit send, right? Okay, and then, and then your first client's name should show up. You see how it already has a picture? How did you do that? I just attached it. Oh, you did? Okay. I didn't know you could do that. So everybody go back one. Hit, hit back up in the top left hand corner. <laughs> it's okay. This has got to learn. Sorry, say again. Go back. Uh, is this the message? Yeah. Okay, so here it is. Paste it right there. Okay, so, okay, so, 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 so did you put your photo in front of it? Okay, good. Did you put your photo in front of it? Okay, good. Did everybody put your photo in front of it? So now you got your photo pasted in front of the message? Can you add something to one of the DPM? Well, yes, yeah, you sure can. So does everybody have it pasted in front of their message now? Did you get it, Ancho? This is an iPhone, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's your number? 714-726-5064. This phone has been used too many times. That's really strange. Oops. Why are you not getting them? We'll have to work on yours after class. I'm not sure. And that was really strange. You're the only one that's, that's happening to. Any, everybody else good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. Yeah, so, so now you guys see, did you paste the photo? Now you guys see who it's going to, right? So that message that you're ready to go to, it's showing that person's name, right? So in the last sentence of that text, I want you to write something personal to that person. Do you understand? So like if it's Dylan, I'm going to say, say hi to your mom for, you, for me. If it is... Um, you know, someone, it's, there's something you know about all five of these people you're sending, like, um, you know, by the way, it looks like you had a great trip to Boston. You know, whatever it may be, add one little personal line at the end of that to that person. And then once, and then reread that message, you got your photo on the top, you've got your text message ready to go, and then you're going to hit, as soon as yours is set up, you can hit send. Just the first one. Yeah, sure. Let me take a look. It's all right, man. Once you got this down, Con, you're, you're solid. Um, um, okay, so, but this didn't have the photo in it, huh? I thought I had it. I put it under attachment. So let's go here. Just to be safe. Go ahead and, oops, go, go ahead and paste it in front of high. Paste the photo in front of high. Oh, boy. I know, but. That looks perfect. Okay, so, so you sent that? No, so, I didn't send it yet. Yeah, it, it's been sent, hasn't it? Okay, so, so what happened? What kind of phone is this? 
the galaxy. Okay, hit, hit forward and see what happens. Do I need to sign it? It looks like it's been sent. No, well, they know who it's from, right? Yeah. Okay, so hit send. Yeah. Then it goes. Yep. Okay, so you can, and then every, so, so here's the kicker, guys. So you can go ahead and send those, but I want you to customize every one of those that you send to that person. But it's just going to pop up the next one after you hit send, and then pop up the next one after you hit send. So I want you to customize it. What do you got? How do I customize? Okay, so, so hit send. Okay, I was afraid to hit send. <laughs> Can I hang on? Okay, now, now that's where you see how it opened right up to the last sentence? So right there, that's where you're going to put like, you know, hope everything's good with so-and-so or, you know, crush it this week at whatever or whatever it may be. So customize them and send them, guys. Okay, so when I did first name, it's putting their whole name because I put it on one line. That's why I find my... How do mm. I, can I... Oh, no, you can't. You got to back it up. Okay. Back it up. Oh, yeah, you, you know what? You can't send yours. Don't send them. You got to change your contacts. Yeah, yeah and, and this is an exact... By the way, this is an exact reason, guys, just so you know, that you want to make sure that you put their first name on the first line their second name on the second line, and their business on the third line when you input your contacts. Because I had a bunch of nicknames. I used to do that too, Kelly, because I have nicknames for a lot of the realtors. Yeah. And so I would send it out, and their nickname went. <laughs> uh -huh. I know. No, it's all good, but you know what I mean? All right, I'm just going to work on changing my contacts. Say it again. OK, so when I go to preview, and it's changing the names, if mm -hmm. I edit it, it edits it for No, 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 don't edit here. Don't edit here. Hit send. And now and that's where you edit it. And, and I would take out your signature. They know who you are, right? Everybody you're sending, you're saved in their phone, right? <laughs> all right. Corey, you sent them all? Yep. OK, so now hit done. OK, good. We're getting there. Now imagine doing 100 of these at once. Sitting down, you could do these, you could do 100 in 20 minutes. Do you guys agree? Anybody else? And then, and I want to know, like, the first person to get a response, I want to know. Raise your hand if you get a response, OK? What'd you get? Um, someone said, we'll love that pool. Yeah. OK, love that pool. OK. But then she said, uh, she'll let me know when she knows anybody. OK, just say, I really appreciate yeah. you. This one is great, yeah. right? So, but what you've done, like, so did you guys hear what she said? Her first response was, love that pool, right? So she's responding back and saying, and then she said, I'll let you know if I know anybody. They've, you've reminded them, Christina, that you're their realtor, right? What'd you get? She said, OK, we'll do. And who was, who was this person? Uh, X seller. X seller? Just, OK, so like, this is also a point where if you wanted to engage them, you can. Yeah, because she wants to buy two. For sure she does? OK, good. So, good. so just for those at home, um, somebody was asking, you know, where, where do I customize again when you after you hit preview and send, yes. when you start hitting send, it goes into each contact one at a time, and then you can tweak the message to add that little personal piece. Right. Just I'm, to make it clear. I'm really bummed that didn't work. No, actually, I just received a message from T-Mobile that there was a blocking thing that was set up. And now they're removing it. And so they're just blocking it. And now they're removing it. And now they're removing it. Perfect. OK, good. I want to make sure you get your five out. All right, so um, does everybody, did everybody get those out? Well, I have really good news. Reopen that group up again. So go after you've sent them all, reopen that group. Is everybody good? And now I want you to add five more. Add five more people. And I really don't care if it's your brother, your uncle, your cousin. Don't take them for granted. Whoever you want to add that you think could be a reasonable source for you. And if you're like, oh, I don't know if I should ask this person or not, if you're questionable, add them. Yep, edit list. So you guys are going to go to edit list, and then you're going to start typing in the name of the person that you want to add, and it'll pop up. And when it pops up, you just check it, and then you have to go back up to the top and save it, Brad. But leave the original five? Leave the original five. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing right now is we're growing a hit -em up database. You got it? Yeah, I don't want to send my first one until it's right. So here we go. My first name is just listed. So. Hope all is well to all of them. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh. 
Okay, so now, um, so if you want to add something there, you would add something like, hope everything's great with Bill, or whatever. That's where you'd add it and then hit send. So go ahead and do it. So add whatever you want to add for that last sentence. Con, did you get anything yet? Okay, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. Anybody else get anything yet? What'd you get, Kim? What did they say? Hey, can we mic them? Can, can, can we get the mic from her? I got it. Actually, I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, cool. Okay, what is the address and price? Okay, did you guys hear that? Yeah. So somebody just hit up Brad and said, okay, what is the address and price? The backyard looks inviting. The backyard looks inviting. Just say, time to upgrade, question mark? Mm -hmm. That's what I want you to ask him. Right? And then, um, Brad, what did you say they said again? What is the address and price? What is the address and price? And remember, you, you, sh you should have that, right? Or you can go back into Buzz and pull it. Yes? Do we uncheck the ones that we already had in there, or do we just if you, check well, them more? Right now, I want you to build your database. So okay. keep, just keep adding. Well, I mean, I'd really like you guys to keep adding and adding and adding right now. That'd be the most important thing. But the next, so, so Katie, if we go to send this message again right now, mm -hmm. um, we're going to uncheck those five. Okay. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's generally automatically going to select everybody in your group. But right now you've already done five, so I just and I'm just trying to teach you how to use the app by unchecking those five. So add them now and then add, add yeah, so so add the new five and then when we're getting ready to do it, we're gonna uncheck them before we hit send. Okay. Also, uh, can you ask anyone on uh, Facebook if they have any questions for responses? Yeah, you guys on Zoom and Facebook, if you guys have any responses, please put it in the chat. Or if you're on Zoom, you can go on uh, unmute yourself and chime in and chat. Hey, can't hear and, you. And and do me a favor, guys. Um, add um, I want you to add one more into your group. Add me, because I want to know when you're sending these out. Add my personal. Ter it's Teresa got one saying, please send me information. My sister's looking. Yeah. Well, looky there. Isn't that crazy? Good. I got one just that was on my own listing. I sent it. I love it. I love it. What, what was that, Dan? I wanted to just wanted to put dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Like, what's the price? Oh, love it. Love it. Good. What is the price? Uh, so, so, so go back into CB Buzz. 619. Yeah, but, but go back into CB Buzz and pull up that property. But yeah, it's 619. I mean, if you guys want to know that one that I really wanted to advertise today, it's the new one that just got put in in Beaumont because it's a four bedroom, three car garage, single story for I think 510. But the kicker with that is you don't have to list where it is. Do you understand? When you advertise, okay, so, and this is just something for you guys to know. When you advertise, if you advertise your overpriced listing, you're doing that to keep the seller happy. But the real purpose of advertising is to get buyers to call you. So you have to write the ads and say, you know, amazing property, four bedroom, three car garage, single story, 510,000. And then they're going to call you and say, where is it at? And they're gonna, you're going to say Beaumont. And they're going to say, oh, well, that's, that's not you know, what I was looking for. Well, no problem. What are you looking for? What are You know what I'm saying? So everything you guys advertise needs to be a hook, some form of a hook. Hey guys, keep adding. Don't look at me. Keep adding. No looking up. Keep adding. <laughs> you're sorry, you're funny. So try to get to 25, Norma. I know you can. You've been around for a while. Try to get to 25 added in there. How are you, at, Gabby? Is there more people you can add? How many did you send out today? Oh, right now. So far. Okay, and you have how many in your database? 100. Uh, well, I have three groups of over. Okay, cool. So let's send out. Let's send out 20 more. For you. <laughs> Con, you getting it? Yeah. Christina? Yep. Okay, good. Janet Perez? Yes. Getting it? Good. Any other responses yet? What, what they, okay, hang on. I'm going to actually have you do it in the mic. And go have, for it. Um, it says, yay, thank you, Janet, for update. I was thinking of calling her today. What do you think? So she's call, she's talking about Kim from Point Mortgage, because mm -hmm. I told her, hey, by the way, did you send the documents? Nice. So she's trying to get pre-approved. All right. So good. So so um, anyone else have anything? Anything? Um, I have a friend that wants to tag, wants to share my post. <laughs> she's like, can it's I share a, that for you? Share your text, you mean? Um, she said she wants to share it on social media. And tag her on it. And tag me on it. Okay. Can she do that? Sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's a friend right there. You need to send that chick a Starbucks card <laughs> and say, thanks a latte. You know what I mean? Brad's got another one. So this was an open house lead from some weeks ago. And it, uh, they just responded, hi, Brad. Thanks for keeping us in mind. We are not uh, planning to move right now. Have a great day. I love it. Let's still That contact. means that you are keeping Did you hear that my favorite part is? We're not planning on moving right now. But eventually, right? So that's super cool. Anybody else? Did you get anything yet? How much? 
How much? I like that. I like that. We got a how much? Con, what'd you get? I, to rent or buy. To rent or buy. Yeah. Uh, tell them it's for sale. Uh, no, no, just put, um, it's a property we have listed for sale. But I'd be happy to help you with either. Okay? And remember, don't, don't neglect renters. Don't ever neglect renters, guys. Yes, Brad, what you got? Oh, I wasn't trying to talk. Doc, oh, oh, I thought you were trying to, sorry. Uh, no, I just got number three from an old client that I hadn't talked to in a year or so. What'd they say? They just said, we'll do, thanks. All right, good enough. All right, so, um, so how many are you up to in your database, Brad? Right now in that? Uh, like 10. Okay, let's get up to 25. Let's get up to 25, guys, 25. How many people do we have on Zoom? We have about 30 on Zoom, another 10 on Facebook. Okay, plus. so hopefully you guys are all got your hit em up downloaded. Hopefully you have learned. And, and if they have problems or issues, like it's really important, like work through it. You guys can figure it out. Hit em up is the key to your success. Do you guys believe that if you just, through a texting program, could make an extra 50 grand a year? You're seeing the results already. How much? Where's it at? What's the address? My sister might like this. Let me follow up with my lender. This is the kind of house I want. Like, this is how we have to actively engage everybody. Anybody online having any luck, Adam? Uh, I have not seen anything in the chat. Hey, anybody online that's sending out the hit em ups, please, please, please tell us the results because th it's happening. Anybody else having any results yet? Corey? Yeah. Okay, wait. Hey, let me have that. Here we go. Okay, so here you go. Oh my God, no. Sorry, Gabby. All right, so I asked uh, Corey, I said, any luck so far? And she said, yeah, my phone's blowing up. Well, I got three replies. Um, one said, I'll send it out. So she wants to share it with friends. Okay. Um, another one is one of my buyers who are in the process of getting pre-approved. Um, she asked for the address. And okay. if we won't, can take a look at it, if you don't mind. So okay. I'm like, yes. So we'll, I'll set that appointment up later. Okay. Um, and then another one is with a colleague, a home inspection that I um, mm -hmm. connected with. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted me to update my last name because he knew I got married. So <laughs> we're kind of like talking about that in home and stuff. And he's like, I'll share it. So he has a lot of good perfect. networking and connections. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Grab that for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Anybody, anybody, anybody? All right, well, good news, guys. We get to send out five more now. Yay. All right, so, so let's send out five more. You don't have to send them out. You get to send them out. That, you know what, Adam? Look how far you've come. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. <laughs> All right, so I want everybody to send out five more. I swear you're not leaving this room until you send out five more, so you might as well just get started. Mm -hmm. The door is locked. Send the same message to a new five people. Yes? Ooh. Okay. Hey, Michael, can you give Christina uh, the, the mic real quick? Uh, or here we go. Thank you. All right, so uh, I, want you, I, I want you guys to hear this one. Go ahead and hand it over to Christina. Um, so, okay, so uh, Christina just got a response. Go ahead. Um, my daughter's uh, softball coach said that she just got engaged and her fiancé is using his VA loan to buy a house now. So and they're ready to start looking. They're ready to start. Okay, right so now. would that have happened if you didn't send the text? Absolutely not. Okay, that's <laughs> why we do what we do, guys. So congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep it going. There's good stuff happening. And you don't have to retype it. You can just copy it. Copy it and paste it, guys. You already got the photo in there. It should be really easy. Are you, are you unlocked yet? Wow. That is so strange. Does anybody else in here have T-Mobile? No. <laughs> T-Mobile, we can't. T-Mobile is a nightmare for us. We can't even send out our, I mean, all the time that happens. Um, so, Gabby, are you up to your 30 yet? Or 25 yet? Um, the app actually all my lists. Oh, good. So you get to create a new one. Glad we're here. All right. So... <laughs> Uh, how about you, Dan? Anything good? Uh, I just sent the price back. He goes, I'm, I'm looking to rent, not buy. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so it's a response. That's, hey, hey, n no problem. I mean, so, so here's the thing about somebody saying, I'm looking to rent. Do they have anything to sell? Just, do they have anything to sell? Do you know? Uh, he does not. Okay, cool, cool. Um, it's brutal out there in the rental market, but see what you can do, man. Kim Graham, any luck yet? Good, couple responses. Well, let's see how you do on the next five. So, yeah, I'm to go ahead and send out five more. Did you do five more yet, Lauren? Is any responses happening in the chat? How about you, Dylan? Um, I have someone to like the message. <laughs> they liked it. They liked it. It's All right, well, did you send the next five? Uh, 
Uh, I am right now. Okay, good. How about you, Elizabeth? I'm doing I'm doing my second five. Good. Good. Yes. Well, so so best just came up right, and then when I hit save, then when I look over here, she's there. Yeah, so there's like half of the contacts are hidden. I don't know why. Maybe just Google it real quick. Okay. Just say you know, hidden, hit them up, and see what happens. But hey, everybody at home, like, I hope you guys are actually sending out at least ten to fifteen. Ten to fifteen, and I really want the responses. I'm really excited, Christina. That's really awesome. You just landed a buyer. I mean, that is legitimately landing a buyer. Now, the most important thing to do is set up an appointment right now. Just say, when are you guys available to meet? And what kind of range are you thinking, right? Like, hit them up and get that appointment, like, right now, before somebody else does. Okay. Oh, did you figure it out? Unhide? No? Okay. Cool. Yeah, just keep them coming. Did you do it? How happy you are. You did something I right. I saved another group. I just saved a group. I okay, good. Group. Good, you're getting there. <laughs> Lauren? Anything? Uh, yeah, I got somebody to text me back. What'd they say? Just bought a house in New Mexico. Oh, cool. Oh. Cool. So when you figure out New Mexico is not where you want to be, come on back. I'll find a great house. Jack, how do we reuse that text? For um, copy it and paste it. So just go back into one of your open texts. That's what I did. And then I just paste it right back into the preview. But you might have to redo the first name because it might have pulled out the link. Just make sure that the first name link is still in there. And then, um, but you can add more than one photo in the hit em up. And eventually, guys, it's going to start charging you. Hit em up's going to start charging you. I think it's like five or six bucks a year or a month. Or it might be a, it might be I just had a, pay. a month. 59, 59, 60 bucks for a year. But is it worth it or what? I mean, that, that app is so worth it. And when you go to send, make sure that you check their name. <laughs> like I said, if you got nicknames in there, like Lauren, you might not want to send that one. Oh, they've that one you probably like. Yeah, that dude's fine. Yeah, he'd love that. Other ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you should be sending out five more. Hey, jerk face, you want to buy a home? <laughs> Keep sending, guys. I like it. Everybody's heads down. Everybody's sending. Are you getting this on camera? Are you getting all these guys with their heads down? Uh -huh. Awesome. So proud of you. Look at them go. Look at you guys go. <laughs> and we've got even more fun stuff next week. So like I said, we've got a couple more weeks of this stuff. But don't you think this is gold? This I is think gold. This. Next week, we might hook your phone up to the Apple TV or something, too. Four. Just to show kind of how you're doing it. Well, it's different. Totally different topic next week. Oh, okay. I want somebody at home to land somebody. Yeah. I want a true landing like Christina's. I want somebody to say we're interested and you didn't know it and set up an appointment. That's what I want. For those of you just tuning in, we are currently mass texting our clients. Feel free to go back in the video after it's done and see how you can land clients. Rental leads? Well, and ask them, by the way, do you say, be happy to help you. Do you happen to have anything you need to sell first? For sure? Okay. Okay. What'd they say? I love it. So. All right. So, so she just got one asking um, how much. And just say, um, it's 619, but we have a ton more coming. Here's what I want you to put. It's, it's 619,000, but we have a ton more coming down the pipe. Um, are you thinking about trying to buy something this year? Question mark. Okay. Flat out ask them if they're thinking about trying to buy something this year. Like, be direct, right? We're active, not passive today. Katie, what are you all happy about over there? I'm learning. Oh, I was scared to personalize. <laughs> I was like, did you get a lovely personalize? Did you personalize? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. So keep them going, guys. Don't, don't stop. Can we put more than one picture? Tiffany Wells from... Go ahead. 
Just, Tiffany Wells from um, Jessica CB Wells? West. No, Tiffany Wells from uh -huh. CB West says you rock, Chuck. Oh, you know what, Tiffany? I love her. <laughs> yes. Looking, but, um, it, 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 so, so put, you're going to put Haibu at 619, um, just put, um, but I have a ton more, you know, from all kinds of prices coming down the pipe. And, and this is a benefit of something I want you guys to think about. This is really important, all right, guys, really important. Whether you are with Associated Brokers, or I know there's West watching too, if you guys can, um, always put in there that when you start a conversation with somebody, one of the benefits of working here is that we get properties before they ever hit the market. You guys know that, right? Because, hey, coming soon's or whatever put into our, our private groups. You have to let people know that when they're working with you, they're not just looking over the same picked over properties that everybody else is looking at. We have access to properties before they hit the market. That's what I want Boo to know, your other Boo, OK? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Boo. <laughs> yeah, edit the names, right? Oh, and by the way, don't misspell your people's names. Talk about blowing it. Anybody else have anything yet? Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Keep sending. Keep sending. Keep sending. Ooh, I like that. Who was that? How many did you get out? 14. 14, I like it. Isn't that cool, though, Brad? That's cool, man. And you just and you know your seller should be stoked too because you just sent out fourteen on that most recent listing, right? So that's cool. Anshul, you in yet? Oh my God, you must be frustrated. Do you have an iPad with you? I have. Well, not right now. Okay. What's the issue she's having? Uh, T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Yeah. Codes? Yes, but now the app is not letting me in. So she's entered her phone number too many times. Yes. Okay. Brian Keen just sent me a message via hit him up. Said, did this work? This is easier than. <laughs> This is easier than how I do it now. Copy and paste. Lol. Great job as always, guys. Sent with Hit 'em Up app. Oh, make sure you uncheck that. Go back in and t get rid of your oh, Sit 'em Up. Shoot. Make sure that it doesn't say Hit with Sit 'em Up app, guys. You didn't do that, did you? No. Go back in. Open up your app. Open up the app. <laughs> right here, down at the bottom. Okay. Well, the 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 default is off. Okay. So. Yep, so your default is off. Your default's off, right? What? Go back in to hit him up real quick. Open it, open it. Um, okay. For those of you just tuning in, we are texting, mass texting our just... database with the hit him up app. We're not sending it to anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, yours is off. Yeah. Make sure you're hit him up. You would have seen it at the bottom of your, yeah. of your <laughs> message. But always turn that off, because if they see sent with the hit him up app, you just ruined everything. <laughs> All right? No, okay, so, so, so say no problem. Would you okay, just say, I have one, I have a couple more coming up. Can I get his number? Okay. Never let them say, I'll have them give you a call. You automatically say, hey, no problem. Can I get your son's, your son's name and number like right now? That's, that's a big difference. If somebody ever calls you and says, hey, my friend might want to sell their house, can I have them give you a call? That is unacceptable for us, right? If my friend is about ready to sell my house, can I get their name and number? I'll give them a call. They're going to be like, uh, okay. You just do it. You be aggressive, right? So I feel like I've, I've let out on my secrets because Gabby calls me out every time. She's like, I know this is a hit em up and not really you. I'm like, oh, you're on to me. You know, they're going to, I mean, generally they're going to figure it out. But, but that's why we personalize that last sentence, though. You know, it sure was great meeting Tim. And she's like, mm, I still think it might have been a hit em up. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ma, you just had dinner with him. This boilerplate stuff looks like you sent that to everyone. What'd they say, Con? <laughs> where, where are you moving to? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, does he not know where you live? No, I, I was um, working in Florida. So, Austin. just say perfect. Let him know where you are. Hey, I'm here in Southern California. You know, if you know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate, man, make sure you think of me. Send. Yeah. What'd you get, Kim? Just price. price. Just say um, it's six nineteen. Six hundred nineteen thousand. But we have quite a few more that have not hit the MLS yet on all kinds of, with you know all different prices. Say, what are you looking for? Question mark. I got another one. How much in the address? Okay, perfect. So just say six nineteen, and it's located in Marietta. Don't give them the address. 
keep them engaged. It's 619 and it's located in Marietta. Just say, are you looking? Question mark. Right? We're just aggressively, not shy, asking for business. If anyone has any questions, or if anyone's getting any responses from their text messages, please write them in the comments. So hit them up, create group, select the people you want in that group. I mean, you know, everybody's using Zap and all these different apps to like keep, all, keep in contact with other people. If you know you're lazy, and if you know you're never gonna send anything out, you're never gonna mail them any cards or drop off C's candies for Christmas, this is so much better than nothing. You know what I mean? Although next time when we come in here, we're going to start using physical addresses when you guys come in here next Wednesday. We're going to be using a different piece of the layered cake. And everybody's coming back, right? No excuses. Yes, Katie. It's where in Marietta and how much? Um, so go ahead and um, pull up that property again okay. and just drop it in. Just Google it and then pull up your maps. And it's 619. 619. 619. And then just put east side, west side, central Marietta, whatever. Just let them know where it's at. But don't give them the address. Keep them engaged. She's a, she's a um, broker, real estate agent. Oh, don't text her. <laughs> no, don't text Wait, don't. don't. I just clients. Oh. Yeah, she, um, she's a real estate agent? Real estate agent. I just got my house. Unfriend her now. <laughs> um, yeah, take her out of your A-plus database for sure. Um, and ghost her. <laughs> All right, so, is she, wait, is she with us? Yeah. Yeah, ghost her. Okay. Send, send her contact information to Jenny. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, you can just, you, just, you can send her the address, whatever. It's not even in the MLS yet, though. I mean, we just gave her a nugget of gold. Sorry. That's all right. So the one that asked for the price? Yes. The address so I can see where it Go for it. I mean, is it somebody you trust that would use you? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, send them the address. And then at the end, so say it's three six five one mama. Would you like to go take a look? Question mark, and see if you can set up an appointment right now. Yes, you gotta go. All right, Christina. No, thank you for coming. Hey, you got a buyer added today. Yep, I did. And everybody, Christina's gonna be here next Wednesday too. She's Hi, already committed. That's right. See, good. But also to you guys at home, we have about five seats that were open today. So mm -hmm. five yeah. of you who are doing it right now at home want to come. Well, I next can, Wednesday at nine a.m. Well, we I can spots. tell you. You, if, if you want to be here for it to work next year, you have, next week, you have to be here. Yep. You have to be here in person to do the one that we're doing next week because we physically have to do things together. So you have to be here next Wednesday. Cannot, it's not going to work from home. While we're um, letting them do their thing, can we talk to some of the people in Zoom? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Catherine Smith, I see you busy working away. Have you gotten any responses? She shook her head no. All right. She shook her head no. Okay, Norma. Norma, how about you? I'm uh, trying. Any responses yet? Uh, no, I'm, I'm working on that. Okay. Okay, keep going, Norma. Keep going. I want you to try to get to at least... Okay, so I, I want to keep adding people to the database. Okay, so who got up to 25 people that they added to their hit em up database? Anybody in here hit good up to 25? Okay, right now, guys, we have two minutes left. I want you to at least get to 20 right now. At least get to 20. Who else is in the... Uh... Brian. Brian, how are you doing? Brian just figured out the app, right? Yeah. How many, how many people have you hit up? He hit up Adam. <laughs> Besides me. Uh, you and Michael. <laughs> you and Michael. Okay, well. All right, Brad, Brad got another response. What would you get, Brad? Just we'll do thanks. We'll do thanks. I'll take it. Because now, Brad, and everybody, you know, the main thing is getting in front of them. Like, Dylan, that one that liked the message, they still thought about you. Yeah. That's all that matters. They remember, hey, Dylan actively marketed this house to me. He'll do the same for me if I list my house. Stephanie, you've been very quiet. What'd you get? Well, I'm texting. How many? How many did you get out? Uh, I think 22. Nice. What? Um, my ex-brother-in-law said that he, Catherine just got he asked for the price, and he said he's going to throw it in his group chat, but the guys out in the area, and he thinks one might be looking right now. So she might have landed a buyer, potentially. Uh, one of the girls I used to work with at Pachanga wrote me and said that another co-worker might be looking for it. Okay, so I'm going to restate that for living. So Stephanie had um, a brother-in-law that says has a friend is probably looking, a ex-brother-in-law, a, <laughs> a ex-co-worker from Pachanga that said... 
uh, that another coworker there might be looking. For okay. Reach out to her. So don't reach out to her. Ask for that name and phone number right now. I did. Okay, good. So, sure so okay. just remember, guys, we don't want people to say, "I got a friend who maybe I'll have him give you a call." We want to ask for that name and number right now. That's called being aggressive. And boom, you got him. Like a lead, you got to sniff that out and go get it. Okay. Catherine, uh, what was your response? They're all coming back in, like one after another. So the first one was like, um, perfect, we'll do, we'll share it. Um, the other one was from a neighborhood that I've been farming and I have a contact in that neighborhood. And she wrote me back that something else that I had done this weekend, a big baked platter went over well and they want me to stop by their clubhouse. So, and Love there's it. more behind that. I just haven't read them. Excellent. Keep and charging. For the folks watching on Facebook, if you're just tuning in, we are mass texting our clients with the program, hit them up. Uh, I suggest you save this video and go back and watch it because we are sure. getting leads in right now. Okay, so so we're closing out, guys. But I want to know how many how many did you send out today? I think only seventeen. Oh, okay, you get you know seventeen gets you two lotto tickets. Oh. How many did you send out in? I'm going to send out. I'll be twenty two. You get two lot of tickets. Oh, How many did you do, Kathy? 17. 17, you get two lot of tickets. 14. 14? He's I'll Oprah right now. How many did you send out? There you go. How many? How many did you do? Okay, pass two to her. There's two for you. Brad, I know you sent out a bunch. Kelly, how many did you get out? I got a few, but I'm changing everything in my database. Bottom's line is you're here and doing it. How about you? How many did you get out? Okay, here they are. Need you to break 15. How many did you get, Con? 10? There you go. How many did you get, Kim? 15. You broke 14. Yeah. All right, so uh, how many did you guys get over here? You got 18? Woo, you get three for that. Monica, was it over 15? There you go. How'd you do? Just because I love you, okay? How many did you get? Oh, you get one for 11. Keep going, keep going. When you get to 25, you get another lot of tickets. How many did you get? <laughs> Gabby? What are you talking about? It's like, you know, giving a dog a treat for doing a good job. Here you go. Then they keep, the dog keeps doing it. It's like the chocolate from, uh, uh, what's that show called? With, um... You know, the universe thing, all the nerds. Yeah, yeah. Big Bang Theory. Remember they ever sent that with chocolate? The universe thing? <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot I'm still on. Yeah, you're on. Wow. Uh, what'd you get? I got how much. Okay, good. So how much? Just say, um, it's listed for 619, but we have a ton of properties coming up that are not yet on the market. It's listed for 619, but we have a ton of properties coming up that are not yet on the market. Okay? And ladies and gentle people, we're done. So you guys all sent out um, a minimum, probably everybody did over 10, which was great. Uh, some of you guys did up to 20, 25. You'll be getting messages back on these texts all day long, all day long. And remember, it's your job to convert now. Once you're in a conversation with them, so just think about it, guys. You already hit a minimum of 10 to 20 people that had you not done this, you would not have talked to today. So if you guys can take this and you can do something small like this every day, there's no reason that you guys can't hit 200 people a month. Right now, you're hitting zero. A lot of you guys are. You know, you're not getting a chance to talk to them. And then what's really going to ha happen soon is we're also going to be calling people. So that one's coming up, too. So again, we're here to work. Oh, don't get all nervous, Andre. I see your look on your face. You're like, oh, goody. Um, so uh, any questions? Anybody? Any questions from the chat? Uh, Michael? No? Nope. Okay. okay. Uh, real quick, as you folks can see, we've got a few extra chairs. If you'd like to be a part of the Prospecting Mastery Program, it is a program where you have to come every Wednesday. Um, but please send me an email at adam at coldwellbankerab.com, and we will get you on the exclusive list. Cool, cool. Any other final comments? Everybody get something out of today? Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Thank you guys for coming. Appreciate you all. And uh, if you, by the way, if anybody gets any appointments, if anybody gets any buyers or any sellers from this, please text me, and I want to share it next week in the group. But I really want to know that this paid off for everybody, and that goes for everybody at home too. So thanks, guys. All right. We're out. Take care, guys.